Hey everybody, this is not a spring chicken. A lot of times when you're looking at some of the things the government does, you, sometimes you just like go, oh my gosh, is this just totally ridiculous? Okay, the latest study is, did you know, the study was two and a half million dollars, that lesbians tend to be heavier and not as attractive. Oh, he spent two and a half million dollars to do that? Is that like the study that says, oh, Asians tend to have slanted eyes and olive colored skin? Or, a study that says, wait, people from Latin countries tend to speak Spanish or Latin. Wait, what? I know, it's just about as ridiculous as that study. But I'll tell you what, if you want to do a study just like that, I can give you the results, save you the time, but you can still give me two and a half million dollars. Oh, okay. So, but how much more ridiculous is, I guess it's not as quite as ridiculous, right? Huh? Mm. I know, or just about. Anyway, we're going to bring old Kimmel with comments on the headline of today. Just for the photo. And it's all over for the Republicans. Oh, yeah, they've got people that are now, that didn't believe in gay rights, now jumping on the gay rights bandwagon. And basically, as one senator did say this morning, that's not how it's supposed to work. They said, well, you've got a son that has, you've got a child that has a disability, so therefore the government should fund all the programs for all these people with this disability. Are basically, your, your kid has a problem with speeding stoplights, so you should change all of the rules in the nation for speeding stoplights. He said, just because your kid is gay mm -hmm. is no reason that the whole country should have to change to suit your kid's problem. And they said that basically, they, they, this Rob Portman, they said, uh, uh, he's basically been the person that plagued Obama in the last two elections for the Republican Party. They said they, they think that playing Obama has rubbed off on him because they do understand he's going to jump to the Democratic Party in, in the next. They actually do. He's going to jump to the Democratic Party because he now supports gay rights because his son wants to get married legally. Yeah. <laughs> and Obama won't trip over Netanyahu's... <laughs> Iran red line? He already has today. He said, he said on the news today <laughs> that we're not concerned about Iran right now because they're at least a year away from getting a nuclear weapon. And then one of the reporters, they don't really like him in Europe a lot. Yes, but since they are selling missiles to Korea and Korea already has nuclear weapons, all they have to do is buy, well, I'm talking about them building their own. Mm -hmm. And he said, but that's not what we just got through saying. They already have nuclear weapons. They're trading military hardware for nuclear. But we're not talking about about where you know, Obama when he gets off of off of the. I mean, he is the most god awful, stupid person on the face of this planet when he is off of a teleprompter. Mm. He doesn't know what to say. Mm. He's, he's like the guy that um, what Bill uh, like Will Ferrell plays the anchorman who basically he'll read anything you put in front of him. I'm, I'm guessing if the president of the United States was to, uh, if they put it on the thing when they're doing a press conference, and I think that George Bush and the Republicans have done more to help this nation than any other organization, and any other president, and any other party in the nation in its history, and I think that they should be given sainthood, and then sooner or later he'd realize what he's reading. Mm -hmm. And government sells a big honk of GM stock. Well, yeah, and uh, what they're doing is they're financing GM's green stuff, so therefore, they actually still own the company. No matter how much money they sell, they get it back in collateral again and loans for green products. So they said, that it, they said not only isn't the government's interest in GM going down, it increases on the day because well, one of the people I was watching yesterday, one of them said the GM is sub $250,000 of vote is being subsidized by Barack Obama. Oh, it is? Yeah. Um, Russia delays trial of dead lawyer Sergei Magnitsky. What? Why would you have a... It, they, they, they dawned on him that the guy It's like, dead. the guy is dead. Why are they and having they a trial? they do have a legal system. I mean, it may not be the greatest legal system, but the system does call for you to be in the courtroom when you're being tried. <laughs> and they gently don't dig up bodies and do that, so... You know. <laughs> After Obama passed over for Pope Francis... Uh, passed over for Pope Francis quickly emerged as perfect conclave candidate. Yeah, they, I mean, I, they're, okay, folks, you're hearing it from Europe now that he actually, as far as a lot of the news people are concerned, he actually was in the running to be Pope. It is no longer a joke because there are people that are secretly saying that they did consider him to be Pope. You know, he's not a Catholic. He's not he's a, a Catholic. He's a Muslim. And, uh, but, 
but the, uh, the church needs a, uh, okay, here's the way it works. The church's biggest problem is in the United States with our Justice Department. How do you stop a problem with the Justice Department? You make the head of the country the Pope, and then he kills then all. Then he kills all of it. That's right. Oh but then God. he discovered that uh, they couldn't they couldn't go along with his abortion and gay rights choices. So killing the legal problem didn't work. Mm. And Nigeria hostage killings, a cold blooded murder. Um, I, I, I'm going to tell people out there that don't understand this. Anytime you kill a person, like it's always like it, you know, if they if you intend to kill them which they intend to do when they take these hostages, if they're Muslim extremists, you've got to expect that it's cold blood murder. It's mm -hmm. nothing new. It's just the way it's always been. Judge enters not guilty plea for Colorado shooting suspect James Holmes. Well, because they won't let him plead guilt by himself. Okay, the guy is a fruitcake. He sits there and stares mm -hmm. out the wall. They're going to give him a truth serum now in the trial, which violates his constitutional rights, which means they're going to have to kick his rear end out. Mm -hmm. The instant they give him the truth serum, which they're saying that he... Now, the courts are basically violated every right this guy is under the sun. They're making him take drugs. They're making him do this. They're making him do that. They can't get him out of his catatonic state. He is a, a, a guy dressed up like the, the Joker and killed people. And he doesn't even look like he's in the same world as the rest of us. The guy's got mental problems. And he should be in a home, <laughs> not being you know put on trial. And Mark Kelly's purchase of rifle draws criticism. Oh, yeah. He wanted to show how easy it is to buy assault weapons. Well, yeah. Anybody can, anybody that, uh, that bait, okay, so first of all, the guy's the United States military, so he's military ID, and they're never going to turn a soldier down from buying a weapon in a mm -hmm. store because you already have passed all the ID tests. And they said, well, they wanted to know, it was, they said, the Democrats even said it was grandstanding and a huge mistake. To show that how you know that he could go that a, that an officer in the United States military could go into a gun store and purchase a weapon without a background check. He's got his military ID. They call the military up and the military vouches for you. Mm -hmm. They don't have to have a back. It's just like uh, they've had background checks for a long time. My father would go into a gun store and uh, they my father show him his, his police ID and then they call up. Yes, he's working police for Okay, you can have the, you know we'll sell you this new gun and the ammunition with it. So. That was how difficult it was. An Arizona assault rifle purchased by Gifford's husband triggers outcry. Yeah, that's the same. But, you know, it's just, like I said, the Democrats are really pissed about him doing that because it damaged, it basically screwed their thing, that, uh, their deal. I mean, yesterday the Senate Judiciary Panel banned assault weapons, Coley, and um, they got pointed out the fact that, well, they're not banning all weapons, they're just banning some weapons, so the... One of the Republicans simply got Feinstein and she blew her top when he said, in other words, if you don't like parts of the First Amendment, which the President and the Democratic Party don't like, you to simply ban parts of the First Amendment you don't like, mm -hmm. even though the Constitution says you have to do it constitutionally. Well, we don't, you know, the con we, you know pedophiles, are, you know, the pornography is, cut, is not, you know, in ban. And they said, uh, I, I do... Here, this comes from a person who said there's nothing wrong with child pornography, don't I? Mm -hmm. And so you know, and she got mad at him. She, they passed the thing on a partisan manner, and they said it's dead on the floor because mostly because the Gifford guy basically, he he made a show like you know that Michael Moore I think was taping it to show how easy it is. Oh, if you want to do it, you send somebody in with a criminal record, not a guy with a military ID. <laughs> Yeah. Um, GOP budget takes aim again at Obamacare, Medicaid. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, like, uh, okay, there are people over at Fox News that are definitely senile. Well, I don't know why you just don't do it this way because you have the power to budget. And they said, no, we, we have the power of the budget. We can only trim things that are not part, that are not entitlements. The president's health care plan is an entitlement. We do not have the power in a, re in a you know, contending resolution to cut it. And in the budget, the president will veto it. So the only place, only thing we can do is continually put it out there that we want Obamacare gone. And then the, they said, when they said 121, you know that you can't even get Obamacare unless you have three government agencies approve you first. And then they send you to an insurance company that you then have to, uh, they send you to an exchange, then you have to talk to them, then you have to get approval from the government again. And then the IRS has to approve everything before it's done. That's not how it was supposed to be. 
121 pages. Well, it shouldn't take you more than a, a half hour to 45 minutes to fill out the first form. Mm -hmm. And applying for Obama plan, not easy. Yeah, isn't that amazing? I, I actually, I put it together so I knew it was coming up. <laughs> yeah. Controversial ad campaign appears on San Francisco buses. Oh, yeah. <gasps> what happens is, is uh, it's a real simple thing. They're pointing out the fact that... Uh, that if you have kids, that minorities tend to have more children out of wedlock than others and that they're a drain on society. And then they're also using the same thing uh, against, uh, I mean, uh, against, there was Ashley Judd, that basically is that she said that poor people shouldn't have children in a book she wrote. Mm -hmm. And that's all aimed at minorities, which they can't, Democrats can't get elected. But one of the people said, well, you can basically, okay, uh, a member of the Democratic Party can go burn a cross on a black man's lawn and they know that person got to vote for him anyway because they don't like those damn Republicans. <laughs> and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, okay, that uh, add this. And they said that, that when you're young, you should do all of the things that you're not going to be able to do when you get older. And I sort of thought that's what being young was meant to be doing anyway. <laughs> <laughs>